Over 400 million tourists struggle to find a place for relaxation at the airport each year. The Slovenian business airport provides an answer. Capsules where you can nap, have a quiet snack, or check your phone. The capsules can serve as miniature offices once they have rested. One of the prototypes displayed at an event in Dubai attracted a lot of attention because it had free Wi-Fi, air conditioning, and movable furniture. Its creators were convinced they could have sold a thousand capsules with ease. These capsules will be tested in the airports of Oman, the United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom. The worldwide advertising sector is a fascinating place to see, with both significant investments and cutting-edge technologies. Its total volume was around 842 billion in 2023. Notably, BoxLED, a device made for displaying advertisements, has been introduced by Polish business ScreenLED, well known for its LED displays, as a novel approach to make money. Consumers have the option of buying box lead individually or opting for a car that already has it installed. It displays commercial videos from a laptop or PC that automatically adjust the brightness. Furthermore, you don't have to worry about the weather because the displays can withstand winds of up to 20 meters per second. Between 2015 and 2018, the approximate global sales of cleaning robots were valued at $25.2 million. But a typical problem is that these robots have trouble climbing stairs. Singapore addressed this problem by creating S-Tetro, a robot that can easily climb and descend stairs in both directions. The robot is made up of three blocks that each contain six motors. A combination of cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and LiDAR allows the robot to have exceptional computer vision. As Tetro has performed admirably in tests. However, it's unclear if it will go into mass production. The Roadrunner Interceptor drone was unveiled in early December by the US-based company Anduril Industries. Although not all of its features have been made public, one important aspect is known. The Roadrunner can travel up to 1120 km per hour thanks to its two turbojet engines. According to Underil Industries, this drone performs three times better at navigating and can fly ten times further than its competitors. Because of its adaptability, the Roadrunner can be used in a variety of situations. Although the Roadrunner M-Type is especially made to combat unmanned aerial vehicles, it is also capable of performing tracking and reconnaissance duties. As Anduril Industries prepares for scale production, it has acquired its first customer. Based on 2023 results, China's automotive industry has also seen great development, becoming the largest automobile exporter in the world. In the meantime, sales on the domestic market exceeded 21 million units. The product of the local business Yifeng is notable in this context. They have created a platform that simplifies parking. This platform uses laser navigation that can increase a normal parking garage's capacity by up to 40%. The precision of the navigation is within 5 mm. The advanced intelligent parking system can also oversee up to 1,000 platforms at once. For starters, British student Jasper Mallinson designed a portable CNC machine that looked like an exoskeleton. Using a welding torch, the machine which uses eight motors was successfully tested. Mallinson's back is where the conveniently located computer, which controls the tools path, is located just like in regular CNC machines. The machine should be able to work with a wide range of tools so that artisans can easily take on challenging jobs. Furthermore, Mallinson plans to use virtual reality technologies.
Chinese railroad reached a speed of 350 km per hour, which the press said was a world record. However, 400 km per hour is the even more remarkable speed that Chinese experts aspire for. Owing to the heavy workload on trains and rails, these professionals use robots to assist with inspections. In addition to carrying out other crucial duties, the robotic platform measures gaps, checks the rail curvature, looks for surface flaws, evaluates fastening conditions, and more. The platform can run on a single battery for four hours while maintaining a 15 km per hour examination speed. The SP-80 is the name of this unusual trike, which resembles a spaceship more than anything else. If all goes as planned, its designers want to shatter the sailboat world speed record. By 2024, the SP-80 will have reached a top speed of 150 km per hour. The 7-meter vehicle required several years to develop and build. This entailed state-of-the-art technology. For example, the hull was sterilized at 120 C after being woven from carbon fiber using a specialized machine. Notably, the project's overall budget was more than $1.6 million. Can you visualize an M&M hidden in the sole of a shoe? Yu Bizhou, a Chinese 3D illustrator and designer, hasn't merely envisioned it, he's really made it a reality. Viewing shoes as artistic creations, UVJU boldly blends traditional components with inflatable inserts, spikes, and other distinctive features. Thus sneakers, which go by the name WOW, are already on sale at retailers. WOW shoes cost $980 a pair, even if it could seem expensive. Is there anyone else that sells shoes made for walking on water? Wow works as well in a swimming pool as it does in the sea. These American-designed sneakers are useful for exercises, in addition to walking. Autobock, a German business, hopes that their exoskeletons would simplify the lives of professionals. The Pexo Thumb, known as the tiniest exoskeleton in the world, is one noteworthy achievement. The Pexo shoulder is another interesting product that runs off of electricity. This exoskeleton, which works with levers, springs and cables, allows workers to operate with their arms lifted and is appropriate for a variety of jobs, including mechanics and construction workers. There are jokes about robots taking our jobs, right? Clinics without doctors are already a thing in the United States. There, patients can receive biometric body scans, blood testing, and diabetes assessments. In the future, more services will be added, and recommendations and diagnoses will be handled by artificial intelligence algorithms. These clinics, sometimes referred to as care pods, are small enough to fit inside shopping centers. Paying $99 a month for a subscription grants access to care pods. It is well known that a concrete block placed in the middle of the road serves as the most effective prohibitory sign for many vehicles. Take into consideration the anti-assault stoppers for a more powerful choice. They are strong and very conspicuous because of their stripes and spikes. Made of 16 mm thick steel, they climb to a height of 60 cm in just 6 seconds. The temperature range for these stoppers to function well is from 75 to minus 25 degrees Celsius. The firm claims that customs offices, embassies, airports and even jails are good places for this kind of protection. An Italian corporation well known throughout the world for its buoys, floating obstacles and related items. Consider the 3017 FTFT buoy for example. Its diameter is an astonishing 3 meters. It consists of four floats whose walls are thicker than 20 millimeters. 
solar panels and other signaling devices can be installed with plenty of room. Furthermore, when the buoy is filled with closed-cell polyurethane foam, it exhibits greater resistance to inclement weather. Exoskeletons for the general public are already available on a daily basis. WIM is one that weighs just 1.4 kg. It not only helps one save up to 20% of their energy when walking, but it also saves 14% of the work required when carrying loads. WIM is perfect for training or hiking, and it has a training program that generates a customized plan using artificial intelligence algorithms. Another advancement in electronics has been accomplished in Singapore. Scientists at Nanyang Technological University have created a one-of-a-kind connection interface that installs in less than 10 seconds. It can stretch seven times without breaking due to its extreme flexibility. Additionally, this connection is 60 times more robust than one made with glue and remains operational underwater. This development greatly facilitates the creation of flexible devices, which would be helpful to robotic specialists in the future. Stretcher-borne patient transfer is a daily task for paramedics, first responders, and other professions. The INEX ambulance cut provides a way to lessen the tension on their back. These electric stretchers have a maximum load capacity of 317 kilograms. This stretcher maintains the patient's correct laying posture and has movable guides for additional devices, such as intravenous lines. The stretcher has buttons that allow for quick adjustments to speed up transporting. The Inex Ambulance Cot's inbuilt LCD monitor offers all the information that's required. 